What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. Tonight I'd like to cover the topic of bash scripting. Now whether you're a desktop user or you're a sysadmin managing a group of servers, bash scripting can be a really powerful tool that'll help you automate a lot of different processes that otherwise you would have to do manually. Now tonight I'm going to show you as an example a bash script, very simple one that I put together. Now again, you don't have to you don't have to know how to program to put a bash script together. I'm gonna to show you just how easy it is. Tonight, this bash script's nothing fancy. It's very, very simple, but you're gonna see the amount of work it gets done, and then this is gonna do it all automa uh, automated. So if I have a brand new installation of my operating system, in this case, an Ubuntu or an Ubuntu-based operating system, this is going to update my system and apply all of the uh, newest system upgrades. It's going to also install all of my commonly used applications. So if you're anything like me, you probably have the same cast of characters that you normally install in terms of apps. And because it's an Ubuntu-based system, I also have a certain amount of PPAs that I like to use. So I maintain, that are maintained by the developers of the application. That way I'm always using the current version of whatever that app is. OpenShot's a good example. I use the OpenShot PPA, the Handbrake PPA, the GIMP PPA, and so on. This is also going to install the Ubuntu Restricted Extras meta package. This package is going to give me support for all my multimedia files and so on. So I'm going to show you guys what that script looks like. Now this is not a new installation of Luna, but I'm going to run that script just so you can see how it looks uh, in the process as it goes through. So what I normally do is I put this in my Dropbox folder and I've entitled it New Install. So this is what the bash script looked like looks like here. And I'm going to show you some of the basics and how I accomplish this. So of course, these are just the general the, the normal commands that you would normally enter if you install things or do things through a terminal. This is basically just a string of terminal commands linked together by two and symbols, okay? These basically just mean that we're going to run these commands in succession one after the next. That's it. So you I just took the commands that I normally do in the terminal and strung them together, linked them with this particular uh, command here, and then I made sure that I also put the yes flag um, for everything. So that basically means that it's never going to prompt me um, in the terminal whether I want to do something or not. It's just going to automatically assume that I want to do it. That way I run the script with a fresh install and it's going to run through everything and when it's done it's going to have all of this work accomplished which again updating my system and my sources it's going to install all my packages import all my PPAs and then it's also going to install that meta package that I normally install and then at the very end it's going to clean my um, apt cache as well I could add all sorts of other things here too um, that I want to have done automatically. Uh, it just depends on how extensive and thorough that you want to get. But this particular script, in my case, saves a lot of time. I don't have to manually go through and do anything. But I, just a few minutes it took me to put this script together um, has really saved me a lot of time that otherwise I could be doing something, other, uh, something more productive. So this is it. All you've got to do is take all of the normal terminal commands that you would normally enter, string together with this symbol here, put the Y flag on everything so that you know that it's going to automate the whole process and you don't have to be prompted with a yes or no on each command. And that's it. And that is a very simple bash script to show you guys how much work can actually get done. So I'm going to run this script in a terminal so you can see how it looks. Now I've linked, uh, using my bash rc file, I've linked my scripts folder in my Dropbox so I can call up any of those scripts from wherever I am in my system at any time. So if I simply just start typing new and then autocomplete, it's going to bring up that particular script. I've already changed this to an executable and let me bring you in a little bit closer so you can see. We're going to run this. It's going to ask me for my password. And away we go. Now, of course, because a lot of this stuff is already done, it's going to tell me there's really nothing to do. But in your case, it would run through all of this, uh, you know, all of these different commands that you would normally enter 
in the uh, terminal yourself and it's going to do them one at a time and as each task is completed it's going to move on to the next task and what's nice is again you can add anything you want to like for instance I just did a video on how to change the animation speeds in elementary OS Luna you could easily and I actually put a downloadable bash script uh, in that video description uh, so you could download that yourself and run the script if you don't want to do those steps manually I could add that into this script so it installs all my applications it updates my system and imports all my PPAs and it sets the animation speeds for me so that I can just restart the computer and everything is up and running and because Ubuntu and Ubuntu based systems are fairly easy to install um, you can have a fully functional system with everything that you would normally installed um, installed in a very short amount of time so this is a big time saver so this is one of the applic this is one of the contexts that you could use bash scripting to save yourself a lot of time I use bash scripts for a lot of different things I have one that I use all the time to capture my screen that you see running down here in the bottom right hand corner I have scripts to do things like change certain uh, settings on my system and I even have a script that I put together I did a video on this as well on how to extract um, audio out of video files using FFmpeg and a bash script so I've got all sorts of things that I use scripting for and as a Linux user this is a powerful tool that I feel like a lot of people don't take advantage of so if you have certain tasks that you find yourself doing that are very manually intensive and you do them on a regular basis you could put a bash script together to automate that whole process and make your life a whole lot easier and these scripts are things that you can add to and take away from <coughs> excuse me and modify at any time so if there's an application you no longer use or applications that you want to add you can open up that script add them save it and you're good to go I'll put a copy of this script in the video description below again bash scripting can get very very fancy um, you know you can have all sorts of really now if I was packaging this together if I was say the maintainer of a distribution and I wanted a script to run post installation I know Crunchbang actually does this uh, it's a really nice script that they run afterward it, it prompts you um, whether or not you want certain things installed and it updates your system for you and this is kind of the same idea only it's not as fancy because I'm just using it on my own personal um, operating system I'm not trying to aim this toward a large uh, audience of people and I know I want all these things done automatically whereas uh, the Crunchbang script uh, prompts you before each task is completed whether or not you, uh, you want it done so anyway um, this is just a quick video showing you the power of bash scripting in Linux, giving you one example of something you can do, and, and in this case, a script that I would run after a brand new installation of Ubuntu or an Ubuntu-based operating system like Elementary. Hope you guys liked the video. Do me a favor. Uh, if you like my content, take a second to subscribe. I do make regular videos. I do tutorials like this all the time, and I try to do things that I don't see done quite a bit on YouTube. That way, you guys have a wide exposure of different tutorials that hopefully show you how to do things that will make your experience in Linux that much better. So anyway guys, as always, I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching, and until next time, we will see you guys later.